Good morning, guys. It's 7.25. Earliest I've been up since the first week of school. But, as you remember from yesterday, it's uh, going over to the auto, sh the auto show, air show today. Looks like a nice day so far. So I'll get out there and uh, hopefully see some cool stuff today. And this is where they filmed the movie. Yep. Right here, I think. I don't remember the name of the movie anymore. Oh. Huh. No, no, it's open. Yeah, everything's open now, though. About time. 79 degrees already at 8 o'clock. We show 77. 77 here, yeah, it says 79 over there. Huh. Oh, he soloed? Yeah, I, I Ten soloed. Ago. Ten days ago. He did. I should see that up on now. That's okay. cool. I think we should go to the end. Perfect timing. A big round of applause for Miss Janine Leslie. All right, all this is the sky now for... Our American flag under canopy. My feet. We'll be waiting for the signal as Ms. Janine Leslie will live in person present our national anthem. with a view of this part of the country like no, like no other way you could get it. Almost 360 degrees worth of view. Give them a wave, everybody! From the early days of flight to the first step on the moon, man has relied extensively on a small deceleration device known as the parachute, created initially to save a pilot's life as he jumped from his disabled aircraft. Parachuting has evolved. Start extra 300L, a two-place aerobatic aircraft. Really a great machine. Not quite the Ferrari of the fleet, like John in the MX with a roll rate of 360 degrees. Now Bill working skyward. On the upline, point rolls on the way up. That aircraft is certified two-place aerobatic airplane, built originally in Germany, and then disassembled and shipped over to the U.S. Now, Bill's backing it up. Oh! In the reverse, he's going to back it up to about 60 miles an hour before flip-flopping, tail for no. Bill Kearns, an accomplished aviator at the young age of 28, still holds an airline transport pilot certificate with over 3,000. Newberg doing a super slow roll in the Oakley Viper. The vertically goes over the top. Now watch him go to the outside shoulder roll, and up he goes. The spiraling tower all the way up. He'll slow it down. Now look at the roll rate on this biplane. He'll turn off the smoke. You'll see him back it up as well. All the controls are reversed. He's now going 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. He's about 200 feet into that torque roll. He's continuing to roll it. Watch him swap ends real rapidly now. Listen to the sound of that 400 horsepower engine whine with a snap roll on the down line. He's going to be out to the left. Jason Newberg. Oh, 16, his dad flew aerobatics, and he was named, most recently named the unlimited champion at the 2010 Lone Star Aerobatic Championship. The two-place aerobatic extra 300L now building some airspeed. Top speed about 240. Bill pulls back hard on the stick. That's about nine times the force of gravity. Pushing Bill back into the seat as he climbs on the upline now. Slow rolling. Up on the top, Bill hanging it on the prop, around and around he goes. Now Bill in an inverted flat spin, he'll chop the power before pushing the nose back over. Working his way out to air show left. Builds it himself, he flies it himself. Now he'll get to show center just five feet off the ground. <laughs> oh, up he goes. Now watch the pull. There's the vertical, he'll go over the top in the Oakley Viper. Snap rolling once and twice and three times, going for four, maybe five, five. And he'll now tilt his head back, look at the runway, and pull through. That is called the quintuple avalanche, a loop at five high speed. 
Pete Snap rolls on the top line. Yes, indeed, a great morning. These guys getting things warmed up at Cleveland. Are you ready for a full day of air show action? <laughs> This is great stuff. All right, here's Life Flight Helicopter, Metro Life Flight Helicopter. In 29 years of service, I love this one, Rob. 29 years of service, Metro Life Flight has completed more than 70,000 accident-free helicopter wow. flights. We thank Metro Life Flight. It's actually getting pretty busy. It's hot. It's going to be about 90 today. 93. All oh, people here, they're doing the remote control. Helicopters and now. Pretty cool. Not even gonna be able to find them on camera though. 500 remaining, including the one in the air, low and to your right. Now all eyes and all cameras right. on that That's airplane. Left. And I am not just boasting that Fang is in fact an outstanding pilot. He is outstanding outside of the cockpit. Watch as he, wait a minute, there's another airplane out there diving in. Hold it, somebody call Fang. That airplane is not supposed to be here. Fang's got enough on his mind. Wait a minute, a part came off the airplane. Did they hit? Somebody call the ambulance. Call the fire truck, we may have problems here. Ambulance and fire truck, there's Fang outstanding in the airplane. Balancing act, give him a wave if you will. Call the fire truck. Call the ambulance right now. Get some help if you will. All right, get Fang out of the way. Folks, I don't know what happened. I was watching Fang. Uh, Rob, did they hit? The aileron's gone out of this airplane. Yes, yeah, something, there's, there's something's Sarge missing. There's fabric wrong. coming off the airplane. Wait a minute, look out. It's not a seaplane, get out of there. What? What's hanging on the tail? I have no idea what's going on. Somebody lang, land Fang. I'm a little confused. We're trying to get an idea of what's going on. But we need all the ground help we can get. Everybody hold your position. I think your Maroni is clear. What, Rob, what's hanging on the back of the airplane? I, 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 is it a part? Is it fabric off the side? It looks like a junker. This guy is losing. He's not delivering parts. He's losing parts. What an idiot. Okay, yeah, get that thing on the ground. Whoa, whoa, oh, got the wing tip. Ground the wing, hey buddy, what a jerk. Get that thing on the ground. Do we have radio contact with that I've, idiot? I've tried, I've got no response from him at all, Danny, none at all. Oh, oh he's gone, that's it. Uh-oh. That's it. Uh, whoa! Oh. Wait a minute, call that luck. Where's my fire truck? Where's the ambulance? I, I need all the help I can get out here. What, what happened? They ducked for cover? <laughs> I don't blame them. Parts landing everywhere. Folks, I have to apologize, but this pile of parts, we don't have, a, oh, here comes Fang. You know, he's a fighter pilot, Rob Ryder and the audience, and that was his sky at a very precarious point in time. Look out now, he's got the runway, he's got guns. He's got the guns on this guy. Now he's got a pistol. Okay, look out, we got an idiot on the right. We got Fang on the center of the runway. Fang's throwing the fist up to him and uh, the freeway sign as well. Oh, oh my look gosh. Out. Oh. Oh. Hey, look out, Fang duck. Holy cow, road rage here. Wait a minute, oh. Fang, look out. He's trying to bomb you. There's another part that fell off that junk airplane. That's a tire. Oh, look, it's a good thing. So he's lost an aileron and he's lost a tire. And he's lost his mind. I would have been happy to get to school in about two and a half minutes every day and show off in front of all my buddies, all my hoodlum buddies who are walking to school with without any school books, you know, that's the way it's going to go. But it is Paul Stender, and it is the most amazing school bus. He is making weather here at Cleveland. He's making cumulus clouds, he is making thunder, and he is making lightning in the clouds as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, off to the left, powered by not a Cummins diesel, not by a gas gasoline engine, but the engine out of a McDonnell Douglas F4 Phantom II, a J79 jet engine. It's 10 feet high, it's 35 feet long, and that General Electric engine generates 42,000 horsepower. And even though it's 35 feet long, it may as well be a very, very small bus because it's only got three seats in it. Because all the rest, ladies and gentlemen, is jet engine engine and diesel smoke. All right, let's make some more weather, Paul Stender. There's the thunder, there's the lightning in the clouds. 
and there's another cumulus cloud. Isn't that what weather looks like in the Midwest? Those thunderstorms, Paul making his own weather. Now, you know, Paul's got a lot of these machines. Let's, uh, let us unleash all of that horsepower. Paul Stender is this. on his way to school, well over 300 miles an hour. This is the way I'll go back to school. Out comes the drogue chute, which is the thing that slows it down Woo! until the brakes are used around, oh, 100 or 80 or so. Oh. Any more than that, they would burn out and Paul would go off the end of the runway. Producing over 36,000 pounds of thrust. Ladies and gentlemen, look to the left, representing your United States Navy. It's the FA-18 Hornet on the roll. Let's watch, let's listen to the sound of freedom. So keep your eye in the Cleveland skies for that vapor coming off the wings in true Cleveland National Air Show fashion with the moisture off the lake, the moisture we have in the air. And based on prior performances here at Cleveland, we Stand should up. get that, it's that visual shock wave made visible by moisture in the sky. This is going to be fun, squeezing the moisture out of the sky, showing you what happens in a wind tunnel test. Look low and to your right, approaching the speed of sound. Go for that vapor, you guys. Let's see this. Make it happen. Here's your United States Navy's FA-18 Hornet! <laughs> airplane in the air we are celebrating the centennial of naval aviation 100 years of Watch him as he gets to show center. He'll roll into 90 degrees of bank, yank the stick into his lap and subject himself to This maneuver the tight radius It's feared worldwide. Watch the pitch rate demo. He'll reach show center, suck that stick right back into his <laughs> forward. Watch the tires and the gear. That's the way it's supposed to be. The smoke, the FA-18 Hornet in the photo pass. Get a load of this. And then they got wow. This guy is Mr. Excited. It's a lot of smoke. Air is thick with the smell of oil. Like the exhaust out of the M5. They tend to hot. Too far away to film. And he'll give he every it on franchisee that a box of 50 wow. flavors of Jelly Belly. There's Chris Hamilton. Now the Lockheed Electra passenger carrying airplane back in the turbo. It's a Canadian days. aircraft. And Huge. Wow.
Wow, people really want shade. People really want shade. Check that out. They're under the wing of this Canadian jet. Dang. Seven thirty seven. buildings that was in that Cleveland the movie that they filmed here. Here? Yeah, right there. I guess uh, that one too, the Trust Company. Yeah. And this one, but we're on East 9th Street. That's where my dad Nine. used to work. That's where your, your dad used to work. Yeah, now it's the PNC building. It used to be the Huntington building. And now there's a Huntington sign. Well, there's always been one there, but I just saw it somewhere else. Anybody familiar with Cleveland though knows Terminal Towers over there. Alright guys, we're back home now from Cleveland. I'm headed to the pool. It's 4.31. We'll probably stay till it closes, I hope. Um, the rest of the weekend, weather-wise, for, for Labor Day is supposed to be crap, so we're going to get this done today. i got to charge the flip up. I moved my thing over here, so I'll charge that up. Third gear on the way to the pool, and I'll talk to you when we get there. Bye, buddy. Hi. Last day at the pool. Let's go in. Alright guys, we're headed into the pool. Yep, it's my welcoming. Alright, we're going down the slide. Surroundings. Done. My turn. <laughs> Almost dropped the camera, that would have sucked. <laughs> Come on, Cannon. I should have made you leave your feet. I don't know if I just want to. Langsburg. We ate dinner. Kenan's taking his home. I put salt, salt on pizza. Thoughts? Well, when you dump it on the way you do, you're going to have a heart attack tomorrow. A little bit of salt never hurt nobody. There's the remainder of my pizza. Kenan got a box for some reason. Maybe he was deemed more worthy. Look at this. What is this? It looks disgusting. You look disgusting. I look disgusting. Taylor looks disgusting. Just kidding. Oh, it's good. It's at the top. Add it. 
really cool. That is really cool. Dang! So, um, I'll explain where we are, Cannon. We're, we're down here. This is the Taste of Hudson. Fittingly, we have a Maserati, a new 5 Series, a Jag, a Range Rover, a, a uh, Panamera. Panamera, tons of CLS up there. This is a Maserati uh, Gran Turismo, just left here. It doesn't even have a thing around it. That's not something you would see. Why? This is a... Here's the sticker. How many monies? How many monies? $137,000. Actually, less than I expected. This is beautiful. Too bad you can't see. Oh my god, they can't see anything. Look, that's what I don't like about this camera. They yeah, can't see Jack. And here's this black BMW F10. Only Colt knows F10 nomenclature. This is stunning too, the 550. Absolutely beautiful. Part of me would rather have the BMW, but I know you guys think it's crazy anyways. Of course, it's an automatic. Ruined. Not many towns though. That's and the and the good thing is nobody will touch this car. I don't think. I think it's safe here. Yeah, me too. We have found a 760 of the older generation. This is the six liter V12. It's got Z8 wheels. I know none of you care. I'm just filming it because I like it. But this is the 760 with the big uh, V12. Very commendable. Behind it we have a E60 five something with a automatic. Looks like a 530. Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's 10:23. I'm just headed home. Uh, I can coast all the way into my neighborhood here, and still going 22 miles an hour at idle in neutral. And uh, here's the house. So we definitely made it all the way. Look how bright those lights are. I love what are they? Uh, xenon lights over halogens. But um, we're back now, so I'm gonna put this away. Edit this together, and uh, I was up at seven something. You you can't even see me. How about how about that that light? Let's see if we got this light, and I also got that light over there. Nice. There I am. Okay. All right. Well, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow, which is Sunday. I uh, hope you're having a good Labor Day weekend. Uh, let me know how it's going, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.